all right folks first you're doing good guys i'm optimist a quick one i want to explain my trade setup i i made about roughly almost one thousand dollars on this trade and it was on euro usd this massive sell now i'm going to explain it from the concept of what i've been teaching here on youtube liquidity and liquidity pairing as always so first and foremost, this is the 30 minutes time frame. I love the one hour time frame and the 30 minutes. See things in a kind of short term um, face to see where price can be reaching for, especially the liquidity, the 30 minutes reach. When I was making this video, I actually made, when I was making this, I was making a video precisely around when price was somewhere here explaining how i want to sell why i want to sell i actually said i'll use it for day three um challenge of teaching my my strategy but then i felt like it's going to make sense if i drop a kind of concise um concise video to explain how i got the trade so now this is it it started from last week so now i don't want us to go back too much there was a liquidity pool somewhere here this blue line is actually sorry about that it's actually a buy side liquidity it's actually a buy side liquidity this blue line it's a buy side liquidity it was an old eye so when we bought on tuesday i got this trade also when we bought on tuesday that was what we were trying to reach for and the moment we reached for it can you see what happened the moment we reached there we had a massive reversal and this is what i've been explaining it is all about the way we react around some certain liquidity pools. The reaction will give you insight to what will happen next. So we sold. Sorry about that. So we sold massively to the downside. And then I was, I, although we should have gotten an entry from here, but we couldn't. No problem about that. But nonetheless, this other block is now high probability. Why is it high probability? Because it's grab a lot of liquidity here before pushing down and we can see some kind of sponsorship here so basically that was it so all that happened here was just to create a kind of inducement and then personally for me i felt euro usd would go would just keep going higher because we had another liquidity pool here as a target so on monday this was monday i explained how i got a, a buy setup here Price rally to this high. Now, before price got there, I checked my bookmap data and then I saw that we had liquidity here. There was a kind of big ton liquidity. I was having a kind of session with one of my students, Raphael. And then I told him, We are going to reverse from here. We are definitely going to reverse from here. But before we go there, I want you to look at it carefully. Can you see this eye? It's a liquidity pool nonetheless. This is also a liquidity pool, it's just an old eye. But beyond that, can you see all these lows? What did I explain to you guys? I told you all you want to see is just to picture liquidity pools. If you can picture liquidity pools, you can plan a setup based on liquidity pairing. Just liquidity to liquidity. That could be the whole target. So I saw this as a probable, probable buy side liquidity. And then can you see this series of equal lows? This is a big big equal lows can you see that so before price got there i was already planning a liquidity pairing this is it you have to see it ahead you just don't go to the chart and say because optimist said i should trade every reverse around liquidity liquidity pool i will just wait for this liquidity to be taken out and then i will sell there has to be a plan that is the plan what if we move from this liquidity to liquidity it starts as an hypothesis then you start to see everything you need to take that trade and once you have everything you need, you just take the trade. So that's it. So the moment we took out this liquidity, I gave him a portion. I said, if we can break below this low, we are going to sell. So can you see we have a direction already? We have direction already. What are we waiting for then? We are waiting for our entry circumstances. Once we can have all these... Um, once we can have all these variable checked mark, then it's a sell. But look at the timing. This was around 
The timing is not bad. We're still in London, right? So look at it, guys. This is the other block that sponsored price into taking out that liquidity pool. Now, this is another thing. We have another extra liquidity pool here. So I was a little bit skeptical. What if we are trying to reach for this? So for me to know that we are going to sell from this liquidity pool, we need to take out this other block that sponsor price into it. This other block, taking it out, will make it to turn what? Into a more of breaking market structure. And even without that, let's forget about the block itself. Look at this. This is a low nonetheless. It's going to be your breaking market structure. For traders that understand about demand and supply and liquidity, they understand that if we create a demand here, and then that demand allows us to push into a liquidity pool, and then we take out that demand, that demand can actually flip into a supply. That is the concept of flip zones. Zones can actually flip. So you can use this as your own time and say, oh, you know what? This is my breaking market structure. So the moment this order block got invalidated, I figured out, you know what? We are selling. Now I had no idea price was going to retrace. I had no idea. I can't see it. It's not my job to see it. My job is just to take my setup. So this is where I sold from. So I allow price to go back, you see, into this other block here. And then I was selling from there. That was my entry. Short position here. That was the first entry. And then I had stops here. All is still 9.3 .3 stops. Then I was aiming for that liquidity pool. Which is this blue line here. This is 8%. You're risking 1% on this trade, my guys. You will most likely, if you're trading a prop firm that requires you to pass, to make, to pass, um, that requires you to have 8% to pass phase one, you will pass phase one with just this one trade. In as much you can hold it. Because if you do break even here, you, you most likely have, been, you would have been stopped out. It's not even most likely. You would have been stopped out. So that was the first entry. And then price started to retrace. Now, I want you to look at the timing. Why was it retracing? Because London kill zone is almost done. We are still in the session though, but the kill zone is almost done. So what happened next? Price just kind of waited until what? Until New York. Look at this time. 12.50, New York. That is the concept of time and price. I told you everything I trade is just reaction around liquidity pool, then time and price. If everything can come together to give me a kind of nice detail, nice detailed info, nice detailed, um, let me just use the word information, then that's the best bet of what I'm going to take. So in this kind of situation, institutional order flow will work for anything you trade. In as much you want to sell. If you're the type that trade order block, inducement, and the rest, this is your inducement. This eye is your inducement. In as much you can put your stop loss at a protected point, you are definitely doomed to make profit. You will make profit nonetheless. And I told you the protected point. Protected points are points that grab liquidity. For example, we have an eye like this. This is the A. And then price does something like this. If you are trying to sell anywhere from here, ensure you have your stops here. You are putting it at a protected point. You, this point is, you know what? If price should take it out from that point, then there's nothing to trade. Nonetheless, if this is where you can get your setup, you can still put your stops here because this point in this time is now a protected eye. It just grab a liquidity. So this could be where you're selling from. And if you want to use the same concept of how I got this sell here, if you want to use it within this point, it's still the same thing. Just focus. This is the liquidity pool, right? You don't need to see that in advance. You can only you can see it after it happened. What do you notice? This is the other block that sponsored price into taking it out. Not this. It is this. You look at this. This already took it out. So I can tell you precisely. It is this. So it is this candle that sponsored price to taking out that liquidity pool. That is the other block. If you draw that out in time. And you're selling from here. You can put your stops here just like what I did here. You can put your stops here. You're still protected. 
All you still be using at that moment is about nine pips also. Twelve pips. Not bad. Not bad. This is time. You're getting your entry in the queue zone. And that is how we started selling. Until we got precisely to that liquidity pool. I actually held all those straight. Held it. I saw the daily confirmation. I said confirmation. I saw the daily confirmation. And then I realized, you know what? Tuesday is also continue, is also going to sell. To continue selling. And then on Tuesday, we were supposed to have a session, live session around Monday, 9 p.m., which I shifted it Tuesday. For this reason, obviously, I shifted it because I knew we were going to get something in. And then I wanted them to see it firsthand of me getting it. I got this trade and I showed them this trade precisely. I showed them this trade precisely. Can you see what time is this? Look at it. Time, this is 6. Price started to consolidate around here, a little bit consolidation. And then we rallied it until we took out the size. Some of you will say Asian high. Yes, it's Asian high. But I don't want you to look at it as from Asian high. I want you to look at it from the concept of liquidity. If you start to say, oh, Optimus is just trading Asian high, Asian low, you will confuse yourself a lot. Just liquidity. Price took out a liquidity. Re reacted from it almost immediately. That's the reaction I need. Sponsorship. Look at it again. Where is the order block that sponsor price into taking out those liquidity pools? I can conclude to tell you this is it. I was sold, I was selling here. I sold from here. And then I showed them it was a live session. I showed them we are selling from here. And then I told them this is the target. Of course, that's the target. But for me, I was trying to hold more. I was trying to hold more. This was the target. I was trying to hold more. At the end of this video, I'm going to attach the kind of live video I made. The live video I made while I was looking at this setup right here. I'm going to attach it so that you can see how I got it live. I did not make any video for this. Yes, I did not make any video for this. So that was it. Can you see? Precisely. You don't need to wait for the last candle that's... No, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. They got the sell. Some even said, Optimist, thank you for the... It's just nice. It's what I do. To help you see price for what it is. This is quarter four. Euro USD is going to move like this in quarter four. Nice price action. And then when we get to January, February, it starts its madness. That's what it does. It's just the seasonal tendencies. Once you understand the seasonal tendencies, you can just, oh, this is the time to make money. September, October, November is the time to make profits. Trust me. So that was it. We started selling. Can you see series of optimal trade entries here? If you miss this, you can wait for optimal trade entry. What's wrong with my network? If you miss the main move, you can wait for optimal trade. This you cannot wait for. But this you can. And that is where the concept of OT came into place. Your Fibonacci from this high to this low can reach 0.5%. Hold it. From this high to this low, it will always give you like two. Optimal trade entry. Hold it. Perfect. Trust me, it's perfect. There was no OT anymore. By the time we entered London, uh, New York, there was no OTE. And the only trade you would have gotten here, if you traded OTE here, you would have been stopped out. Why? Because price needed inducement. Then that's just it. Using this eye as an inducement to move into some kind of other block. It's, my business is not all this. My business is just to catch it from the beginning. In as much as I can catch it from the beginning, I can hold it until we go to this liquidity pool. Yes, until we go to that liquidity pool. Now, my target is this low. When I post the video, you will see it. I said it already that I believe price is going for those equal lows. That's it. This is the equal low in, in question. That is the target I told you about. Although I could not hold till, till this, but I told you guys I'm not a swing trader. I think I got out somewhere here. Yeah, I think somewhere below this low. I got out somewhere here. I can't even remember if it's here. I can't. I I remember it was below an old low. Maybe it's this or this. 
Yeah, I think any of the two. That's the screenshot. You can see it. I remember I got that somewhere. Although the target still remain this point. So why couldn't you hold it? It's not psychological though, but I don't I don't believe I'm I'm a swing trader that can no trade for three days. The highest available trade has been two days, and I don't want to go against my rule, especially when I have a lot of money on the table. You know, when you have a lot of money on the table, you have to be careful. You have not made profit until you close the trade. So that is how what I want to. I'm going to attach the video of how I got the trade here so that you can see how I called it live. So till next time, guys, I wish you good luck and good trading. Stay safe. Price has taken it out. I'm looking at the sell. In fact, I'm selling already from here. Short position and then stops above this eye, 15 pip stops. And then I'm aiming for all these equal lows there. And that's just it. So we are in 15 pip stops as usual. So let's see how it goes, guys. All right, guys. Still on Euro USD. Liquidity pool. I told you once we take out this break, this order block, the sponsor price into that liquidity pool, we are starting to look for ourselves. So this is more of a break in market structure. And then I got my entry right here, right there into this kind of order block open. So price danced around, and then this vertical line is the beginning of. New York section. What you will notice is just that price came all the way high up here for optimal trade entry. And if we want to look at it from a liquidity perspective, we can conclude. Let's move this away. We can conclude to say maybe price just took out this liquidity pool right here. Took out this liquidity pool just to continue toward pricing. Then we can conclude to say this is the order block that sponsored price into taking out that high. So the moment price took that out, this became a sell entry. And maybe this could have been your entry, your stops here, if you're trading time on price. But for me, I, read, I was already in that very position in London. So I had to just put it throughout. And then price is currently dancing around this consolidation. So we just have to keep holding. And my direction, my target still remains all these sell side liquidities. And hopefully, this equal lows. But nonetheless, from here, putting your stops here, you already have 3 RR. If indeed we want to wait for 3 RR, I can tell you confidently that this is enough for 3 RR. Exactly, that's 3 RR trade. So guys, till next time, I wish you good luck and good trading.